In the previous videos, we talked about free Arthos timers. We examined uh, the port tick rate constant, the uh, ESP timer, which is st which start to count time in uh, microseconds uh, from the beginning of the chip chip uh, operation, and uh, uh, talked about VTAC delay, which is measured in ticks. And uh, in order to have a delay in milliseconds, we write the number of milliseconds divided by the uh, p uh, tick rate constant from uh, from uh, the operating system. Also, in previous videos, we we examined that for very small delays, like uh, one millisecond, it's quite problematic to use this kind of uh, delay. Here we want to compare delay for 1 millisecond, 10 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds, and uh, one, uh, 1000 milliseconds, which is a second. For, uh, uh, for simplicity, we will divide the time in microseconds by 1000 to have a result in milliseconds. So we will talk only millisecond for simplicity reasons. When we will run the program, okay, and now we have our results. Let's examine them. Here, for one millisecond delay, we we have actually two millisecond span, an exact time we calculated in previous videos, but approximately it's uh, twice as big the delay that we have expected. For ten milliseconds, we also have a pretty big error from uh, uh, one hundred and three is subtracting. Uh, uh, 96 but as you can see from 100 milliseconds the results are pretty accurate so if we are talking about a uh, hundred milliseconds or a thousand milliseconds the re results are excellent and we can see it here it's exactly 100 uh, milliseconds uh, delta and also here uh, exactly 1000 milliseconds delta so for those uh, time uh, t time uh, it's pretty good to use this method thank you